Ladies, I saw this meme on the Shade Room okay, Instagram, yeah. and it posed an interesting question. The question was, would you go to church on a first date if you were invited? That's an interesting venue, right? That's an easy answer. I would. Yeah. Adrian? I, would. I absolutely would go on someone to church for a first date. I think that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Really? Especially I'm, I'm not going to lie. You. A, guy I, I, a guy I dated, I actually met him in church, mm -hmm. and, and I, I guess... Is that, well, that's not a first date, but I absolutely would go with someone to church on a first date. Yeah, I think. Because I feel like that's where we can discuss our first foundation of yeah. like what this is going to be about. What that's do we believe cheap. in? That's a cheap date to me. I'm sorry. Really? I like that. Because no. it's free. He's not paying nothing. No admission unless, you know what? The only time I would really check him was when they had the offering. Now, I remember one time I was sitting next to this guy and. Did he give you money for the offering? He didn't give me, it wasn't a date. It was just a, you know, because it was a guy and he was single. And I was like, ooh, let me sit next to him. Like a single oh, night okay, at so you church. were checking him out. Yeah. Yeah, in church. church. Jeannie, okay. I mean, Lonnie runs the singles ministry, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and when, you know, the offering came around, right? Yeah. He put in $500 without an envelope. Y'all know what I'm talking about. No envelope. That means he didn't put his name on it. I was like, who you be? That's a good man right there. Yeah. You guys, I, there, you guys know my mother. Yeah. Um, and when I was dating my boyfriend in, in college, he was like my first love. Yeah. And my mom... She didn't, she didn't want to waste any time. She was like, okay, if he's going to hang out with us, hang out with the family, you're going to have to bring him to church. Love so it. So our first family outing was at church, but uh, he ruined it, you guys. What? Uh, what happened? He fell asleep in church. <laughs> oh, my God! Wait. No, that's a major and still fail. To this day, but he was like, he was my first love. So your mother was like, my nah, mom said, oh, that's work. not the one. It's not going to work. Hold on, we got to give him, a, okay, I'll spare him a little bit, though, because, I mean, there are some churches out there that don't stay according to schedule. You no, know what I mean? No, you like, no. They just kind of let the Jeannie. spirit lead. No, Four Jeannie, hours all of a sudden, later. you see the sun go down. I mean, it's past your lunch hour. No. This was a Pentecostal church, so it was not boring at all. Oh. There's a lot of, you know, dancing and all this. And, oh gosh, she's gonna know I'm talking about him because I only too dated. Late now. I only dated one six seven dude, you guys. So he was you, six seven. So he was really tall. You couldn't yeah. miss him. He didn't fall asleep this way. He fell asleep this way, like. Oh and my God! Still to this back. day. My sister's like, you knew it wasn't gonna work out. The dude fell asleep in church. They won't let me. They they won't they, they won't let me I forget think it. That's just the Lord was trying to tell you that wasn't the right person. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it was. Yeah. That's what yeah, it was. Absolutely. Yeah, I do okay. Like, so that's my point. Yeah. That's why it's good. You need to be in the in the service and you need to be feeling the spirit and be like, Lord, guide me and lead me. Yeah. Tell me if this is not if this is not the man that I'm supposed to be with. <laughs> let lightning strike from above. Yeah. You know. Go ahead. I, do, I do like to see what how a guy is in church. You know, yeah, is he friendly yeah. to everybody? Like when you're supposed to turn around and say hello to your neighbor, is he just like, sup? You know, that's nothing. He's got to be like, brother, bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want a friendly guy who has love yeah. for everybody. I want a guy who knows the words to the song and like moves a little bit. Not, or you know, lift up, lifts up their hand. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my, to see I'm a sorry. guy like Church lift up his just, hands. No, I'm that sorry. Is awesome. no. It's no. a good place no. to get to know people. Yeah, because yes. he's not ashamed. Yeah, like, he's yeah. surrendering. No. Trust me, no. guys. I need a date. A place where I can actually see the man. I can see his physical. I can see his competition. They have great lights in church. No, I'm talking about no. You know what's a good first date? Where? Bowling. Bowling is a good first date. Why do date. you like to go yes. bowling? Because you can while he he's bowling, you can sit down. You can like yeah. That is a good point. I got a better place. Okay. okay. This is not easy to arrange, but I think this is the best place to actually see how a person really is. What? It's on the airplane. Really? Yes. Because, think about it, uh, you see how they treat the people after long hours when they're most tired or most restless, you see how they treat a flight attendant, yeah. you see when the, when the, when the fl plane lands, how yeah. they get up, are they cleaning their seat, no. do they leave their blankets all over the place, do they leave their trash in the back no. of the pocket, do they help the old ladies get their bags? No. I'll never get a, uh, I will never get a second date if I went on a first date. You can tell so much when you Who are going on a first date. Where are you, you going? Where are you going? Jesus, Jesus. 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 Jes
Like, uh, hell, they'll never go on the second date with me. Uh, Jeannie, where are you going on a plane on the first date? I'm saying it's hard to arrange, but that's where I, wa I people watch. On the oh. plane is where I people watch, and I see, okay. I like people who fold their blankets and put it away. I like you to actually throw the trash away when the little lady comes around and you want to throw away your trash. I like people who help me with my bag. Take it down. Thank you so much, you sir. You sleep. You, you find go out if first, they snore. You go on first, and then you walk out next. That's like, not I the like, first date, Jeannie. But I'm saying that's a good place to get to know people. On an airplane, you should know you are, you're practically hooking up your friend and her, her future husband. Okay, now that Come is on. a really good point. This is a true love story. So that wasn't a first date, that was a meeting. Yeah, they, that's they how they met. met. That's, that's, that's how what you're met. saying, right, Jeannie? How to, you how to meet, meet a person. Okay. Well, yeah, maybe not the first date, but like maybe y'all plan a trip and then you see how he acts. Absolutely, you should okay, travel. Okay, yes. 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 All right. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. All right, yes. yeah. But well, what do you think is a good first date? Uh, well, I didn't mind the church. Going to church. I like the church. Right. What's the best strip first date club? you ever had, Lonnie? Yeah, the church. What's the best first date you ever had, Lonnie? Bowling. That's what Bowling. I'm telling you. Uh, best first date. I actually was taken to the circus on a first date. Oh, really? That's nice. Yeah. Okay, so we were friends before ah. we became boyfriend and girlfriend. And before we started dating, and we were in a New York City cab, and a commercial came on for uh, Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Shout out to New York. Hey! Okay, so uh, we were in the taxi, and I was like, man, can you believe I'm from New York City, and I've never been to a circus before? In passing, he ends up telling me, hey, I need you from this time to this time. We kind of work together. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was going to just do some work for him, like a job or something. And it actually ended up, he surprised me with tickets to the circus. Aww. And I actually sat in, you know that in part where you get to actually be a part of it? They like throw you balls or whatever and you interact. And I thought that that was a really He spent some thoughtful. money on that, too. Yeah, that's good seat. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. Good seat. I was in the ring. Okay, wait, I want to tell you where Very I went creative. on my first date with Freddie. It's a good where? first date. I like when a man takes you out of your element, out That's of your nice. comfort zone. That's yeah. bowling. So, okay. No, it's not bowling. <laughs> so, Freddie, I mean, I live in the city. I love, I know every restaurant in L.A. I love good food and all that. He said, can I take you somewhere where maybe you're, you're not so familiar with the area? And I said, yeah. He threw my butt on a plane, and he flew me out to the country. And he taught me how to milk a cow on my first date. We made goat cheese at a dairy farm next to his ranch, and then he taught me how to horseback ride. And that let me is tell you, nice. that's that, sweet. Because I'm gonna say, women, that's yes, amazing. we women, it's a gift, but women can be a little controlling sometimes. And when a man says, I love that. Like, oh, seriously, let me this. take the wheel. I love it's that. It's a good, powerful feeling. You know, that it's sexy. sexy. I, I like love it. it. And I know how to milk a cow. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Milk. Imagine. Ah! I wish a man would make me milk for my... <laughs>